Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a full screen slider in Breakdance. At the end of this video, you're going to learn how to overcome any obstacle you may have faced in creating a full screen hero section uh, slider. And you're also going to learn how to use classes in Breakdance. I think this is going to be the first video I'm doing that I'm going to show how to use classes in Breakdance. Let's jump right into it. So this is what we're going to be creating, a full screen hero section uh, slider like this uh, with some navigation and the pagination here. And then you have your text, uh, you know, a couple of text and a call to action button here. I also have uh, an overlay menu that I created. I'm not, this is not going to be the focus. That is why I didn't bother changing the color to uh, white. So let's jump right into breakdance. Now I have breakdance open here. I'm going to open the structure panel. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a section and then I'm going to add the advanced slider. So I'm just going to type slider and add the advanced slider. So immediately you see the advanced slider is like a nestable slider, which means you can add a couple of items in it. So what I'm going to do is to delete uh, all of the slides and just uh, I will just have one slide remaining. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and just change the background of that slide. So we will see how that slide feels in the screen. So I'm just going to uh, go to uh, add item. I'm going to add um, now this add item is on that background. So you're adding an image, which is a background image. So I just want to add a background image. And then I'm going to also set this to cover uh, no repeat. And I need this to have an overlay. So uh, we'll just add another background item. So this add item is actually a background item. So I'm just going to make this all the way black and then just take it like that. Okay, so that gives us an idea of the size of that slide, what we're going to be seeing. So the next thing I'm going to do is jump right straight to the section and I'm going to go to uh, the spacing and take off all the paddings. As you can see, we still have a couple of paddings left. Uh, I'm going to move um, to take off the remaining. I'm going to go to uh, the advanced. I'm going to go to wrapper and then I'm going to go to spacing and then take off the remaining padding from that wrapper. So that gives us zero paddings on the section. The next thing I want to do is to go to the slider, go to here, the container. The height, I want to set it to viewport height. You can see we still have some spacing. So if I save this and then we check on the front end, you can see that we still have that spacing. So for the get rid of the left and right spacing, I'm going to go to uh, here size and then I'm going to make this a full width so the section will be full width so I'm going to save this let's go back and see if there's any change as you can see it just moves this uh, all the way to the end that means we have a full width section but this is not uh, centralized so what we need is for the slider to stretch all the way to the end to have that we're going to go to the advanced slider and then uh, if we set a width here of a hundred percent let's see if that is going to have any effect so I'm going to refresh that uh, you can see it doesn't have any effect so you see that width doesn't have any effect so we're going to go to the what we're going to go to is the the wrapper and then on the size we're going to set the width on the wrapper of the advanced slider or see yeah and then if we refresh you can see we have that and then we still have a left and right spacing and this spacing is here because of the navigation arrows and to deal with that we're going to go back here uh, to the slider uh, settings and then we're going to go to arrow now you have two options if you disable the arrow it's going to take away that but if you need the arrow you can change it to overlay and then it's going to overlay the arrow so i'm going to leave the arrow at overlay and then i'm going to set the size to say 50 and the color of the arrow to white and then i just just going to uh, make it a bit transparent so let's save it then you can see the arrow because we have just one slide so uh, another thing we have to take a look at is uh, the pagination so if you need the pagination uh, normally I don't need a pagination here but if you want it you can leave it as arrow but then we can see the pagination right now because we have just one slide so I'm just gonna uh, duplicate this slide so we can see the pagination now uh, so what you want to do is if you need the pagination you can make it overlay also and then I'm gonna just go to the bullet and then change the color to white or something just a bit transparent but if you don't want the pagination and then you could actually uh, go here and say none and disable it but for now we're gonna leave it so I'm just gonna save that and 
we'll refresh the front end and then you can see that we have that so i want my slider to play automatically so i'm just still i'm still gonna uh remove this for now uh, because i want to style everything before duplicating okay so uh, i'm gonna go into the settings and then effect i want it to fade and then the speed i want it to be 400 microsecond infinite i want it to be front end only so it just keeps looping i want it to center slide and then auto play uh front end only so every other thing should I, you could nothing to nothing to do here actually because it's just a single slide per view so i'm going to save this now the next thing i want to do is to add a div inside here now it is now because we have a full screen uh edge to edge you know width um if i go ahead and let's say make this a lot of text and save it now if you go to the front end you're going to see it's going to push you know the content moves all the way to the edge so uh we don't want that we want the content to be the side width so what i'm going to do is to just drop in a div there and then i'm going to make the div my side width so to know your side width uh, if you have set in the global settings mine i had set mine in the global setting under container section as 140 rem but if you haven't set it it's usually about 1120 pixel by default so for mine it's 140 rem so what i'm going to do is to go to container the width i'm just going to set my width to 140 rem for this and for my now for this because i've set this uh it's not exactly the width of the slide so it might shift to one side so what i'm going to do is to let, let me just move this heading there first and then i'm going to go to slide uh this uh the slide okay under layout i want to center this and now that is center so if we go to the front and i ref refresh you're going to see that we have a content restricted to the side width the next thing we're going to do is to start adding the other elements so i'm just going to add uh, my text and then i'm going to add a button and then for this uh, text this one i want to give it a class so because now uh, in breakdance you have a preset system now one of the things that the preset doesn't have is color so you can set color in the preset for a text so because of that we're not going to use preset for this if you don't expect the color to change okay you can always use a preset but i want to use this opportunity to show you how to use a class so i'm going to go here advanced and then i'm going to just add hero title okay so the hero title uh that is i'm just going to call it hero title and then i'm going to click that and then when you click on the class the settings for the class appears on the right hand side so i'm going to go to typography and then i'm going to set the the color to white and then my font family i want it to be poppins and my font weight i want it to be 500 now for my font size i have gone ahead to uh to use this responsive uh tool uh which i have set the font size to 9 rem and the minimum the maximum font size to 9 rem and the minimum to 5 rem and i'm going to go ahead and then copy that responsive uh, typography there uh, that is going to be specific to this class so i'm just going to drop it in the font size so now you can see that if i go all the way down here uh, my font size is responsive and that is because i already have a responsive type in my global style if you want to know how to set up responsive typography uh, check out this video i'm linking at the top right corner this is how i was able to get this responsive type but now i want to give this a specific font size now i don't want it to be the default font size in the global setting so that is why i've gone ahead to make this bigger and because of that i also have to make it responsive and you can see it is still responsive now we have set that uh, for the class and then what you do is that you save it and then we're going to go back to the structure panel and then for oh i duplicated that it's a mistake and then we're going to go and add class again here i'm going to call this hero text okay so i'm going to click that and then go to typography set that to white so i think that's basically all i want to do there and i just want to copy the lorem ipsum text and just put there and um, for the text for the button uh you don't need to add a class to a button all right because uh this is going to be the primary button defined by the global style i'm just going to say uh book book a testing and then uh th th that thing that yeah let me write like that 
and just let's just save that uh, class because one thing in breakdance is once you apply a style to a class you will just have to save it before you go back to the structure panel and then I'm gonna just come here and change the text here to I'm just gonna say great recipe and uh, yeah so I think that's just basically it and uh, I want to give this I want to limit uh, how long this goes so I'm gonna go back to that class and then I'm gonna limit it by the width so I'm gonna limit it to say 720 so that limits that and uh, so I'm gonna save that come back here go here to this div and give this let's say a two rem uh, gap and then I'm gonna save that uh, so we basically have a full screen uh, you know a full screen slider so the next thing we have to do is just to duplicate this slide so I'm gonna duplicate this slide two times so I have this, so I'm gonna go here to the background item and then I'm gonna select a different background, select that. And then I'm gonna to move to the next one and then I'm gonna choose a different background for it, which will be that. So, so I guess we have one, two, three, yep. So those are three different background and then we could go ahead to change this. So I'm gonna change this to delightful taste. And then I'm gonna change this to best chief. So I'm just gonna say this. Okay, so let's save that and go to the front end. And you can see, so if I refresh, uh, you can see it's just gonna auto play by itself. Yep. So if we go to the mobile, you can see that it is still full screen and everything you know is responsive so guys that's all on how to set up a full screen uh, hero slider in breakdance i hope you enjoyed this if you found it useful please do me a favor just two seconds of your time and hit the like button and if you don't want to miss subsequent videos go ahead and hit the notification bell that notification icon right there so you'll be notified when i post a new video until next time have a great day